That ball is belted deep left center. That ball is way back there. It is long gone. Goodbye, home run. The Mets are on with the long ball. Goodbye, home run. Whoa, career home run number one. Look at the smile on that face. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the show. Live 5-0, oh, this is another MLB 2K12 My Player Series in the My Player Series series. This is number 23. Spring training has started. The general manager excited. Ah, pitchers and catchers report. This is my favorite time of the year. It's my favorite time because now we can put that disaster of a season that we called last season in the past. And now we can move forward. It just feels good. It feels good to do this again. David Wright is leading off for us. I don't know who's in charge. I don't know who the manager is. I don't know who's calling the shots. I think they got a new guy because <laughs> David Wright should not be leading off. Um, so I have no idea what that is. Hopefully that's not permanent. Um, we have Johan Santana on the mound. He uh, pitched a no-hitter recently in real life. So I want to give props to that guy first in Mets history. Um, but in this game, he's not that good. Last year, didn't have that good of a season. Maybe we could do like a me and David Wright, like 3-4 or something like that. And if our pitching performs, hey, you know what? We can have a much better year than last year. Um, so we're already down by one here. Bottom of second, no outs. I'm leading off the inning. Get an extra base hit is the goal. And the first at bat of the year is hit high. And it's hit right to the left fielder so I'm not able to get anything there I'm not able to get any kind of points and at the end of the day I am going up against uh, Steven Strasburg and that guy is a bona fide dog because he can his fastball is amazing it has great movement it's hard to pick up so this is going to be a hard one and he actually got traded to the Atlanta Braves so now I'm going to have to play him even more than I would otherwise does that make any type of it should maybe I don't know and plus the games mean more now because Usually these are rivalry games against the, uh, the Braves and the Mets, so key games or whatever. Uh, another hitting situation against Strasburg. We're down by one, the fourth, no outs. Um, you guys see that my stats have uh, not really started yet. Um, so here we go. Uh, at an 0-1 count, I'm going to get this one, and I'm gonna, just going to have to hit it to second base. And second base, I'm going to fire it to shortstop. Shortstop, going to fire it to first. But guess what, you guys? I'm actually able to get, beat this one out. So I do get on base, which helps my um, not really anything. Um, I mean, but uh, luckily it does help me because the computer is able to hit one off the middle and I'm able to advance safely. So I get plus 10 points. And before my speed was not able to do that. So now that I see that I'm able to hit, um, get, get, like, leg out a, uh, a, a stop, a double play from happening, that's going to help me a lot. And it's going to give me confidence to steal. Maybe it's time to steal. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, fifth inning, no outs, 0-2 oh, on the computer, and it's a tie game right now. Um, and this one is going to be hit high, and I am actually on my phone. Am I going to get there? Yes, I am. There's the play that we're looking for. Top 10, ESPN Sports Center. Top 10, let's look at this. Look at this again. Beautiful. Beautiful. I want Michelle Beal to give me three cheers, and I want Colin to say, wow, this is an amazing play. On Sports Nation. That's what I want. You know, I want that recognition. Gold Glove caliber plays. I am winning a Gold Glove this year. I'm calling it first game of straight grading. I'm gonna win a Gold Glove this year. Same situation. Still looking for my first hit um, of the year, and this one is going to be hit uh, right to the shortstop, and this is going to be an easy out. And I don't have that much speed to leg that out. And I don't think anyone does. Uh, maybe Jamal Weeks or something like that. But this one, yep, not gonna work out. Um, Feeling situation, uh, we actually have the lead, 5-1. So if I feel like the offense is playing really well, at least in this first game. And at the end of the day, like I said, this is uh, spring training, so it doesn't really mean much. And thank you, Bullet, because I'm able to grab this when I used the uh, dive button. And it actually made me bend down and grab this ball, which helped a lot. So um, I'm able to fire this. They do get a run. But um, I think that now that I'm able to cut off stuff, it'll look a lot better than me like seeing the ball like roll over my shoelaces like it did in those previous videos. Uh, this one is going to be hard, but right to the first baseman, and I'm not going to be able to get any type of points. Um, it's unfortunate, especially as the game winds down here. Um, still a close game. We only have a three-run lead, and this one is going to be hit hard, and it's going to be hit right 
um, on the ground to me all the way to the wall. I'm going to be able to pick it up and fire it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's not good. They almost got on my second, though, which was close, which was cool. So he gets a double. Um, and I don't have that much speed to cut that, to make, like, a good angle on that one. I kind of took, like, a weird angle, uh, which is why, you know, you should stay in school and work on angles in school so you know which angle to take in MOB 2K12. <laughs> um, stay in school so you, so you know what angle, right? Plus, it helps you when you get to college and you start playing games with ping pong balls you know what I mean if you have um and I think they actually do it in college also or high school you know after people are playing ping pong or at early ages game two of our game we have John Neese on the mound his year last year was not very good and that's something like I said we have to work on you know our, our offense needs to produce more but at the end of the day our pitching needs to produce more if you guys see the numbers from last season again they only played for a little bit but I was able to get two home runs in the short season this one still looking for my first hit first inning and this one is hit really hard up the middle. There is the first hit of the year, well, of the spring training year, which was cool, you know, because now I finally have a batting average, which is what I really, really needed. Uh, and then David Wright is going to strike out swinging, which is unfortunate because, like I said, if me and David Wright, we got to carry this team offensively. Um, we just have to. This one's going to be hit right up the middle, and the guy at second is going to be able to scurry home. And the, uh, the cut is going to throw it the first for some reason. doesn't matter. I advance safely, and we get a one-run lead, which is very good. Um, and then this one's going to be hit hard, but right to the um, right fielder. So I'm not able to advance. One thing I want to talk about, you guys, is uh, someone who, uh, who I have mad respect for. Dunbar Snack Bar, if you guys have heard about him. Our games are very similar. We have very similar mindsets. Um, now, if you were to check out his videos, anywhere to check out my videos, uh, we are very similar in styles. Um, and uh, our game plays are very similar. You know, we both have my players. We both play center field. We both play for the Mets. Um, you know, so I, at first glance, a lot of people would think that, you know, I'm copying him, he's copying me, whatever it may be. Uh, but at the end of the day, I want to say that I have mad respect for that guy. Um, and I, I, I don't think at any point that he copied me. I don't think at any point that I copied him. I know I didn't copy him, and I know that he didn't copy me either. So, um, And the, 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 the community of sports commentators on YouTube I think is kind of like a, a community where for me at least I look out for you know one another like I'm not gonna go and say oh this guy is trash you know cuz I mean I, I I know how much work it takes to actually make one of these videos and I know how fun it is and I don't want to go and dislike someone else's video cuz I know how it feels to get a dislike and I know how it feels to you know get a like you know so at the end of the day um, you know uh, like I said I have mad respect for Dunbar and uh, hopefully one day, you know, we can do a dual commentary and, uh, you know, two A's fans just talking it up, talking about baseball, talking about the A's. Maybe we can give them some hints on how to win because they did really good in the beginning of the year. But anyway, yeah, so that's my little spiel on uh, Dunbar Snack Bar. If, if anyone is wondering uh, why our games are so similar, we just are on the same wavelength. Great minds think alike, baby. Great minds think alike. This one's going to be it right through the gap. And I'm going to actually get a double here and my first RBI of the spring training season. <laughs> yeah, I called it a season. So that's very cool. Two-hit game. I'm able to get a lot of points there. And, you know, we get a two-run lead in the fifth with one out. Also, you guys, I want to mention, if, if you guys don't know, uh, there's a link right in the corner that takes you to a video that me and Dawkins did on Google+. Plus. It was a trial video. Uh, there are points in that video where we just sit there and don't talk about anything because we're watching a YouTube video. Tomorrow, 6 p.m. Central Time, uh, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, and I think that's 4 p.m. Pacific Time. I'm not exactly sure on that. Um, we're going to be doing Google Plus again. Me, are, I'm, I'm going to be there. Dawkins is going to be there. Uh, uh, Conejo's owner is going to be there. He may be giving out free stuff. If you want to check it out, we are definitely going to be giving out free living 5 and 0 wristbands. So definitely come check it out, guys. We're going to talk about sports. If you guys are interested, stop by, say what's up. 
let, let me know if you guys are interested in that. That's going to be streaming live on my other channel, uh, Living From 2.0. It's also going to be streaming on Google+. Plus. So check that out. The link is in the description below to my other channel. And, uh, yep, that'll, that'll be going down. I'm excited about that one. And, again, you know, if you feel like you, you don't know that much about sports, come. You know, I mean, we're not only going to be talking about sports. And, you know, if you want to talk shit crap, sorry, if you want to talk crap about LeBron James, and who doesn't want to talk crap about LeBron James, come. Come come, join us, and I will tell you why LeBron James is probably the best player in the NBA, and dare we say, could be better than Michael. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, prove me wrong. Come check it out. Come check out the Google+. Plus. All right, you guys, uh, as this game is over, I want to thank you guys for uh, watching. I want to uh, encourage you guys to leave a comment, let me know what I did right, let me, let me know what I did wrong. Again, I want to say thank you so much to everyone for the support. You guys are amazing. Uh, the likes... <laughs> Amazing. Like I said, I never thought that I that this would happen. We're starting a new year. I'm excited. We get off for a good start. We uh, got 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 a win. Uh, last game, we got to win this game. We're two and zero. Oh. Then five and zero. Oh. I'm outie.